Revival. Now, Webster's Dictionary will tell you it means restoration to life, consciousness, vigor, strength. Awakening, the act of waking from sleep, or a recognition, realization, or coming into awareness of something. Revival. Awakening. Northampton, Massachusetts, 1730s. Jonathan Edwards begins to preach, followed by George Whitfield. Whitfield spoke to thousands in the open air about the concept of spiritual rebirth, while Edwards warned of sinners in the hands of an angry God. Revival swept the colonies. Countless lives began to change. Churches began to change. And history remembers this as the first great awakening. September 23rd, 1857, at lunchtime in New York City, a layman named Jeremy Lanfear kneels to pray. America was in spiritual, political, and economic decline. There was financial panic and rumors of a civil war, and so Lanfear invited thousands to a rented hall on Fulton Street to pray. Six people showed up. Just six people. But those six people began to pray. Three weeks later, 40 people were praying. Within six months, 10,000 people were gathered daily for prayer. Over the next two years, over one million Americans out of a total population of 30 million put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ. This became known as the Great Prayer Revival. In the early 1970s, the cover of Life magazine featured over 80,000 young people gathering for Jesus at an event in Dallas called Explo 72. A year before, the cover of Time magazine read The Jesus Revolution because something undeniable was happening. Something unexplainable was happening. Something was sweeping young people all over America. It became known as the Jesus Movement and accounted for more baptisms in a single year than any other year in the history of the Southern Baptists. 400,000 people were baptized in one year. The First Great Awakening. The Great Prayer Revival, the Jesus Movement. What's the link? What is the common denominator? What is the first step? How do things like this happen? It's prayer. The first step is always prayer. History is clear. The record is undeniable. The blueprint is right in front of us. Every great move of God begins when His people pray. Not ordinary prayer. Extraordinary prayer. Unified prayer. Desperate prayer. And so it's time. It's time to pray. It's time to pray in repentance. It's time to pray for reconciliation. It's time to pray for personal renewal in our own lives. It's time to beg God for spiritual awakening in our time and in our generation right now. God can do more in a moment than we can ever do in a lifetime. When his people pray, it's time to pray. There's enough power here to go out and change the world. And we pray that this will be the beginning of a spiritual awakening that will sweep the world. For we ask it in the name of Jesus Christ, our blessed Lord.